So hello everyone. So this is my crocheted coronavirus model, and it's showing as you can see the cell body with the spikes and the membrane protein nicely. Today I'm gonna just show you how to make an assembled parts of this virus. So all the parts of the virus and the pattern are on my Etsy shop. Uh, so you're gonna know how to make the body of the virus, the spikes with its two parts, which is the first part and the second part over here. And today all what I'm gonna show you is how to make these parts together here. Let's start. This is the cell body, this is the upper pole and the lower pole. So we're gonna sew the first spike to the upper then to the lower I usually leave a long tail to sew the spike on the body using a needle just go through and fix fix it truly good enough so that it won't f fall off later on So I'm gonna show you how to do this too, and the rest uh, of them gonna be the same. I'm just gonna later show you how to distribute these 17 spikes over the body. I usually like to add 17. I feel like they are much good to me, but if you like to add more spikes, it's up to you as well. Any extra yarn that remains, we're gonna weave them later on using your crochet hook inside the body. I'm just gonna move on to the next. So exactly the same way. So as I said, the pattern is all the BDF file is on my Etsy shop. If you want to kindly support my small business just go and download this file from the Etsy shop all the steps are written down there clearly if nothing is clear or you have any question just DM me on Etsy or on my social media at the purple lilac and they will come back to you for sure So this is it, both upper and lower parts are done. So next I'm gonna show you where should we start next and stitch the next uh, spike. So I usually start with the middle ones, so just figure out the point in the middle of the virus body. and stitch the spike as I'm doing now I'm gonna show you two of them and then the rest 
gonna be the same. Just go around and so that part to the body. Let's go to the next. Choose another point in the middle. So until now we stitched two spikes at each pool like use on the top pool and use on the bottom pool and then we stitched about 10 spikes 5 in the middle of the body as you can see over here and 5 in the spaces between each two middle spikes so now we're gonna continue with stitching the 5 that remain over there and stitch them in the space down here in between those two upper middle spikes so let's do it so this is how it looks like when we fixed all the 17 uh, spikes part one on the body of the virus and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach these part two of spikes on on the top of we're gonna stick them actually on the top of the part one for all the 17 sparks spikes part one so i'm gonna start with the top one here showing you how to stitch this part two to the part one so i'll simply we weaved all the yarn of the part one inside the body and we left a long tail on the part two to stitch them to the part one so simply you're gonna just using a needle you're gonna put this needle and stitch the part one to the part two and then you're gonna weave all the yarn inside the part we're gonna do the same for all the 17 or 2 spikes. So I'm gonna show you one and then the rest of them are gonna be the same as the first one just try to secure them as much as you can so they don't drop off later on so now we stitch this first one to this hook here and all what you're gonna do is using your crochet hook you're gonna wave this extra yarn inside so I usually like to do it front up and hide them inside the part two over here 
but it's totally up to you. You can just hide it in part one as well. As long as it looks nice and clean, all is good to go. So I have some extra here, just gonna put it inside. So this is pretty much how it's gonna look like. So let's continue with the rest of the spikes over here. We have now sewed all the spikes on the body of virus and we have I have shown you how to assemble the parts together for the full pattern of this coronavirus you can check my Etsy shop and download the PDF pattern uh, and if you like this pattern please uh, share it and tag me on any product or project you do and also check my Instagram and my Twitter page at purplelatic to follow up with all my future work and hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. Thank you for watching.